Hi guys, welcome to Webzada. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to use or how to achieve persistent store in Svelte and also in SvelteKit. So there is a different approach for SvelteKit. So you don't need any external packages you need to install to achieve this. You can easily do it. Uh, so let me install this here. Uh, I'll cd into Svelte and then I'll download the template. I'll do the same thing here so that I can open that in uh, VS Code. Okay, I'm in VS Code now. Uh, we have app.swelt. So usually when we are creating a store, we will do it in a JavaScript file. You can do it here as well, but it's better in a JavaScript file because you can import it to any component. So we're going to create one. So we'll call this stores.js. You can call it anything. Uh, first thing we are going to do is import writable um, from Swell store. All right. Now we are going to export a constant. We will call this something like username or something. Username equals writable. And here we'll have something like WebJet or something. Okay. Now this is how you define a normal store. You can import it here. I'm gonna remove probably everything that we have here. So I'm gonna import that particular store from uh, stores.js. Now I can use that here. Uh, maybe on an H1. I will use auto subscription using dollar sign user name, and this should give me web jetta. Okay, now I'll go to localhost. I think I have localhost here. Okay, I'm not serving it. npm run dev. Mm, I should run npm install first. Sorry about that. Clear npm run. Okay, so it's in uh, this 5000. I am in 3000. Let me change. Okay, we have a zero. But if you look at the, you know, um, what we say, application here, and go to local storage, we don't have any key or value. So this is this is where. Uh, if anything stored in local storage, we'll get that here. So in order to make it persistent, we can either use local storage or session storage. So let me change this store to use local storage. The way we do that is here itself, we'll have local storage dot get item. If there is, you know, uh, anything stored already, we'll get it as, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's better if you store it in the same name. You can also do it in other names. So the default is WebJetta. If there is anything here, then that will also come there. Uh, only this will not work. We'll have to subscribe to the change and assign it. Uh, I'll show you how. Uh, username is a store now dot subscribe. Now it's a function where it gets the value. Uh, we have to return something here. The thing we are gonna, you know, we are gonna do here is. We're gonna return local storage or assign local storage. So you can do this like this: local storage dot set item. And uh, what is the item we are gonna set? Username to the value of the store. All right. This is this is the way to do it. Now what happens? WebJetta will be saved here. All right. Now that is WebJetta. And if I have an input here, uh, which is uh, Let's say, okay, uh, text, and I'll bind this to username. I think that that should be okay. Now bind value, I think, equals username. 
Now what happens, I can uh, change this, all right? And you see that in the you know, uh, local storage also it changes. Now I can refresh and it should remain the same. Even if I refresh, the same thing remains. I'll have uh, my name and then if I refresh, it still remains the same. You can close the window and come back here, it will remain the same. If you don't want that, you can have session storage where if you refresh it remains, but if you close the window and come back again, it won't be there. Uh, it will have the default. So this is how you achieve uh, persistent store in Swelt. In SwellKit, however, it changes a little bit. Now I'm going to stop it here. So this should be enough, I think. I'll CD into SwellKit, CD Swelt Kit, and uh, I'll do the same thing here. Okay. I'll open it in uh, VS Code. Okay, it's empty. That's what we wanted. Um, go back here. I will install Swell Kit here. So the way we do it is npm init swell at next. Maybe a dot at the end, which is not required. Okay, skeleton npm install. So this time I'm going to be careful. Okay, installations are done. npm run dev. Uh, okay, it says something. Animate easing and two more. Okay, I'm gonna change this to 3000. So we have uh, this page. Welcome to Swellcat. Yes, now we don't have anything. I will do the same things here. So index, we already have an index. I will uh, create new file called stores.js I'll do pretty much the same things uh, let me I mean why repeat it right so I'll go to Svelte here source stores.js so I'll open it and I'll copy the same thing to this stores all right uh, now in index I'll remove this sorry uh, import username from salt store no not salt store from uh, our you know uh, maybe this store.js file okay now if I use it here dollar Username. This is the auto subscription. I get web data. That's that's pretty nice. Now we have local storage used here. So let's imagine I stop and start again and try to access. I'm getting that there is an error. Local storage is not defined. So this is what you're gonna get when you use local storage in SwellKit. The reason for this is you know local storage is not found in server since. Uh, this is gonna run in the server as well, like for SSR, uh, it is not gonna find local storage there. So what we should do is we have to make sure we run it only in the browser. So we import this browser uh, variable from uh, app environment. And using that, we can actually make sure we can check that browser and and we can do it in line but i will put these in brackets and uh, here as well browser and and set item now i'm, I'm guessing this should work yeah there is no error here and uh, we have web jetta. i will have an input as well uh, this time let's see if it detects input okay I'll bind its value to dollar username okay now if I change something yes it's gonna write it here uh, if I refresh it's still gonna be there so this is how you can have persistent stores in SwellKit so you need a browser you know check only then you can uh, get this working. 
otherwise you it's gonna throw an error so that that's how it is done and one more thing here instead of set item if uh, you know this statement we can actually change it to uh, dot username equals value and uh, that should be fine I think one sec I think I need to have this okay yeah so local storage dot username equals value should act the same way if I name here it's still gonna be Sharath here on the right side I don't know if you can see it yeah so I'm gonna refresh it's still be there right so just change it to uh, session storage if you want it to be you know um, persist for the session only so local storage means you know you save it in the browser and it won't go away all right guys so this is how you use um, persistent storage in Svelte and also Svelkit and the difference is that in both cases you have to run it in the browser in Svelkit we can use browser variable to do that all right thanks guys bye bye